Hello everyone, my name is Logan Mansion of Logan Mansion Games, and I'm pleased to welcome you all back to Half-Life Blue Shift. Okay. Now, yes, this is the second um, expansion pack to the original Half-Life game. The first one was uh, Opposing Force. Okay, I'm going to go to the training room, medium. Hazard Course. So in this game, I play as a Black Mesa facility guard named um, Barney Calhoun. Okay. Welcome to the Black Mesa Hazard Course for Security Guard Training. I'll be your holographic guide to assist you in your training. Begin by putting on your vest and helmet. You'll find this equipment in the next room. Whenever you see one of these buttons, Press it, and I'll repeat instructions, or show you how things are done. Okay, so instead of Gina, it's this, uh, this other guard right here as the hologram. Black Mesa Training Facility. Here you will find your standard armor vest and helmet. These will help protect you against any physical threat you may encounter while performing your duties. When your armor becomes too damaged to be useful, you'll need to find a fresh vest or helmet to protect yourself. Okay, kind of it's kind of weird that you got to find this new stuff. Why not just, you know, use the charging stations? Moving around in your armor may be a little tricky at first. Take a moment to get a feel for moving around. Once you get comfortable with this, proceed to the next section just around the corner. Okay. Moving around in your armor may be a little tricky at first. Take a moment to get a feel for moving around. Once you get comfortable with this, proceed to the next section just around the corner. Sounds echoey in here. <clears throat> also, yes, this is the same training course from the first game, the first Half-Life. Yeah. Or the main game, I should say, where you play as uh, Dr. Gordon Freeman. Okay, I can't open that door. The first move you'll need to practice is jumping. You'll have to get over all three of these obstacles in order to proceed. It helps to get a running start. Watch me do it, then try it yourself. Sure. I'm trying to see what's inside of there. Nothing. There's not even doors where the scientists can leave. Okay. You'll need to duck under the next set of obstacles. When you crawl in a crouched position, you can move very silently. This can be very useful when you don't want to be heard. Okay. Very good. I hardly noticed you. Move on to the next area. Okay. Now, try combining moves. You'll need to jump, duck, and then jump again. This should get you prepared for the next room, where you'll have to do both moves at the same time. Okay. Good work. You look prepared for the next one. To get into these pipes, you'll need to perform a duck jump. You'll want to stand right at the mouth of the pipe. While moving forward, jump up and hold the jump button to go into a crouch in midair. It may be tricky at first, but you'll find it comes in handy to be able to jump and duck into tight areas. Okay. Look at this. I could crawl... Okay, it looks like I can't go down there. Nice work. Okay. 
Okay, that little cork board with like the picture of Mark Laidloff isn't in there. Okay, this guy right here will come important later in the game. This scientist specifically, I think. Walk directly into the ladder, look up, and continue moving forward. If you want to climb back down, just move backward. Yeah, or another way is just to look down. The next four jumps get more difficult each time. Don't worry if you miss the last one a few times, just climb up and do it again. If you can make all the jumps in a continuous run, you're doing just fine. Wow, you seem more chill than the um, drill instructor from uh, Opposing Force. Watch your problem, soldier. Get back up and try it again. Am I the only... Yeah, they do sound like um, Coach Buzzcut from Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> I could go back here, but I'm not going to. If you keep falling short, you may be jumping too soon. Thanks for the advice. Okay, crap. Uh, Start the lift, walk up to the button and press the use key while facing it. Okay. I know how to do that. Just now that you're up here, there's only one way down. Find the target on the floor below and do your best to hit it. You may take some damage from the fall, but don't worry about it. We'll give you some first aid in the next section. You'll find medical kits like this one throughout the Black Mesa Research Facility. To restore your health, walk up to a med kit, then press and hold your use key. Your health will recover gradually until you're at full health or until the kit is depleted. Once the light goes out, a med kit cannot be reused. Yeah, too bad I you can't use this. You may also find HEV charging stations such as this one throughout the facility. These stations, however, can only be used by qualified science personnel wearing powered hazardous environment equipment, so they will be inaccessible to you during your duties. They can also be used by um, HECU Marines who have, um, like, those special type vests. I forgot what they were called, but Adrian Shepard uses these things. <laughs> And I got a flashlight too. It's the same one that Dr. Freeman has. And I squished those, squished that bug right there. To spin that bridge, walk up to the control wheel and press the use key. Okay. Also, how nice. They got like a health kit right there in case I fall. Which I did, but luckily I didn't hurt myself. There's water down there.
great job. I could walk over here too. Look at this. This doesn't do anything, but it still is kind of neat. Sometimes you'll need to rely on quick reflexes to get around. Try jumping this gap on your own. What you really need to do is push the box down into the pit. Pushing is easy. Just move forward into the box and you can push it into position. I was able to just jump across this thing in the main game. But if you really want to see me try it on my own, well watch. Maybe I can't because it's a little too uh, low, but yeah, there. If you can't push an obstacle out of the way, you might try pulling it. To pull a box, move up to it and press your use key. While holding down the use key, move backwards and the box will be pulled with you. Sounds good. I can do this. Out of my way, box. There we go, now I can climb. Too bad I don't have anything to destroy these boxes, though. breaking things that block your path. Pick up the crowbar and smash your way through the boxes. It's... I, I, I don't know why Barney doesn't have a unique weapon like um, uh, Shepard or Freeman does when, um, like, Shepard has like a, um, like a wrench. Freeman, of course, uses the crowbar. Why couldn't Barney use a special type of weapon, like a nightstick or something? Oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter. Because he is like a security guard. Hey, I cleared out every space, even though I probably didn't need to. Break. Crouch. Okay. And just crawl through the vents. Die hard style. You'll need to use your flashlight for the next area. Here, break the glass. No, that probably doesn't do anything. Hear those bugs. They're just scampering. This is how I would climb back up there. Where's that little bug? When oh, he's squishy. See, I can't climb in there. Hmm. 
Okay, probably shouldn't be screwing around too much. Oh, I squished it. Great. Remember, your flashlight will lose power over time, so switch it off when you don't need it. When the flashlight is off, it will recharge itself. Okay. Target range access. Okay. This is where I'm going to use how to learn how to use the guns. Welcome to the Black Mesa Training Target Range. You'll get a chance to fire your weapon, reload, and fire the attached grenade launcher. Collect your equipment and proceed to the firing station. Okay. Looks like you got some weapons already laid out for me. Nice. And more over here. Gotta collect enough ammo and stuff like that. You'll need to hit every target to complete the course. If you miss, don't worry about it. The targets will keep moving until you manage to score a hit. If you want to get through the target range as quickly as possible, try reloading during pauses instead of letting your gun run out of ammunition at a critical time. <clears throat> to fire the grenade launcher, use the alternate fire button. Some targets can only be destroyed by lobbing grenades. I'll start the sequence in five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Oh no, this glass is unbreakable. You've completed the Black Mesa training target range. You may advance to the next area. Okay. I want more ammo, though. Your heads-up display will let you know when oxygen becomes critical. That means you'll need to find some clean air to breathe. As you swim through this course, your blood oxygen levels will begin to drop. At the midpoint, you'll be given an opportunity to surface for air. Okay. I can clip through the hologram. Scary. Look, there's a health kit down there. Ah, oh, crap, I missed. You regain health lost from holding your breath too long once you've made it to the surface for air. Go ahead and swim on to the next section. Okay. This is very interesting down here. Kinda of weird why a simple security guard would need all this training. I can walk along these lines right here. through fire or steam, you'll see damage icons come up in your heads-up display. Directional indicators at the center of your display will show you from what direction damage is coming. Proximity. 
proximity to radiation activates a Geiger counter and radiation display in your helmet. Many other biological and chemical hazards are also indicated in your hand on display. Please proceed to the next section. All right, let's hope I don't get cancer from that toxic waste down there. Do I at least get a medical kit? Entering civilian area, removing weapons now. I wasn't going to use them. Lead a scientist into the next room. He will open the door that leads back into the transit system. To have someone follow you, approach the person and press your use key. He will then follow you until you face him and press the use key again. Oh yeah, um, before that, look at this. These, these vending machines have like juice and soda in them. So say I can go over here, press one of the buttons. I can take the juice or soda and it heals me by 1%. That's cool, right? Yes, I will follow you if you wish. Yeah, let's go. Okay, I will wait here. Oh, is this something new kind of theory or something you're working on? Yes, I will follow you if you wish. Okay. I will wait here. No, I was asking if you can heal me, because my health is, like, low. Yes, okay. I will wait here. Yeah, screw it. Come on, dude. Let's yes, go. I will follow you if you wish. Access denied. Access granted. Hold on, I want I want some juice before I go. There, look at that. I'm all healed up. Press your use key to engage the train. Once engaged, move forward or backward to increase or decrease the speed of the train. Press the use key a second time to disengage from the train. Okay. <clears throat> Outside. Congratulations on completing the Black Mesa Hazard Course for Security Guards. You're now certified to join the Blue Shift High Security Unit. Yay! Also, hey, that's the name of the game, Blue Shift. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, that was the training course in this game. Eh, it's basically the same thing as the first Half-Life, because I feel like that Blue Shift didn't have like, as much creative thought or much effort as Opposing Force did. Then again, um, Blue Shift was released sometime, like, years after um, Opposing Force was. was. And they were probably just trying to, you know, get, like, a second expansion out. So they kind of just redid a lot of the stuff the same the original game did. Okay, but anyway, that was Half-Life Blue... Blue shift. So yeah, I'm just gonna end the video right here. But if you liked it, make sure to click the like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. But as always, thank you all for watching and have a great day. Bye everyone.